hello uh, yeah hi i see most of the crowd went away uh, that's okay uh, so my name is sachin i work as a senior software engineer at red hat and uh, this talk is about gnu emacs uh, when i often speak to people about emacs first reaction what i get is like i'm a web user and that's fine like I'm not able to, uh, I'm not here to compare Emacs and Vim and none of it. Uh, so this is my attempt to uh, promote usage of Emacs and people who are still not in doubt of which editor to use, they might give Emacs a try. Uh, if not a full-fledged IDE or a tool, but uh, some part of it uh, which might be useful to them. So what I'm going to walk you through what my daily work is and how I, um, use Emacs on that. I, I almost use 80%, uh, I always perform 80% of my work on Emacs. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so as this is a free node tool, why not start with IRC? Okay, so I've seen uh, there are multiple clients uh, of IRC and Emacs also has an inbuilt IRC client. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much the configuration uh, you want to have inside Emacs. So uh, don't worry about the configuration. Uh, you can always copy it from um, from others' configuration. So this is basically what you see is uh, how to configure your NIC, uh, your keywords, PAL, and um, maybe if the connection is disconnected, how you can auto join the channels. Mm -hmm. So this is how we uh, configure the uh, channels. So first, it starts with the server name and then followed by the channels. Uh, so as you see, I have OFTC, Freenode, and GimpNet. Uh, so this is a demo. Um, in my actual Emacs file, I have plenty of those. And then uh, these are the bit, tiny bit of modules like auto join, smiley, and if you want to get notifications and this is about login. So I'm not um, going to in depth in this configuration. You can always always uh, search on the web and or uh, you can also refer my own Emacs config file. Okay, and this is a small function to start the ERC client. So let me uh, uh, go through the demo. So can you see the Emacs screen? Okay, I see. I'll just live. Okay, so this is how the, should I increase the font or is it okay? Okay, uh -huh. hello. Okay, uh, I probably don't want to get any neck pins here. Okay, so this is how uh, the Emacs clients looks like. So it's highly configurable. Um, the timestamp, the way it looks. Yeah, someone, someone banged up, okay. Uh, Cool. Uh, let's uh, next go to documentation. I uh, use to do a lot of, lot of documentation. So uh, most people are very not familiar with the latex syntax. So I use uh, Emacs org mode to generate document latex documentation. So let's see a demo of it. Okay. Um, I'll create a demo doc. With the extension of. Okay, let me do it full screen and then insert some template. Okay, and then so the star is uh, notifies the um, section. So org is just like a markdown on language. Okay, some demo or a dummy para. Let's insert some content here. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat that one more time to have some content in the file. Okay, para two. Sorry, and let's just render it. LT. Uh huh. Okay, so let me see how it's rendered. Not PDF. Okay, so this is what you get. Mm -hmm. Moving further, let's try to, what's in the slide, let me see. Okay, 
Uh, let's see how to insert an image. Okay. Assets, cool. Mm -hmm. Let's give some caption here. Open office. Let's try to compile the document again. Copy. Mm -hmm. It's there. How about changing the size of it? Free uh, report right back. Mm -hmm. Let's see if, if five centimeters is okay. Cool. Uh, tables. Yeah, so this is really interesting. Okay. Org. Insert table. So I'm using uh, uh, interactive mode to uh, create a table here. Org. Table. Insert. No, no, sorry. Create. Okay, uh, so if you can see the uh, mode line, I'll just, uh, so it's, I can't see it. Okay, can you see the mode line? So it uh, asks me, so this is the default uh, column versus row. Mm -hmm. So let me do four into two, something like that. Now the table. So this is a column you can get. Mm, and if you see, it captures, it adapts to the table mode now. So uh, I'll just insert the ready-made table I have for this. Mm -hmm. And let me decompile it again. Cool. Mm, how about alignment of the columns? So I want my first column should be left aligned, then center, then center, then center. Okay. Save it. We compile it again. And as you see, the columns are, are realigned. Mm -hmm. How about the source code, including the source code in the doc? Four. Okay, let's insert some Python. Python. Mm -hmm. So uh, it takes me to the new buffer, and uh, which has full-fledged Python uh, syntax highlighting. So let me give you a demo. Import OS, OS dot this. OK, if you can't see it. This, and it gives me all the documentation now. OK, so also I also have a sample code. Let me insert that. Cool. Let's see how it's rendered. Oops. Okay. So I have to import some headers here. Mm -hmm. More no. what options do I have? Select document type. Okay. So I included a huge package. Cool. Uh, how about a line number? Okay, so this is uh, how we can quickly uh, create a document or latex document using an org file. Okay, uh, let's uh, disable the table of content here. Well. Cool. Mm. Flow diagram. So. Um, so Emacs has has this uh, mode uh, known as artist mode, which allows you to um, create a flow diagram sort of. 
So let me switch to artist mode. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not quite familiar with the mode, so let me make use of the menu bar mode. Go to artist, select rectangle. I'll prefer wait. No? Come on. Don't shame me here. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not working. No, that's fine. So I have a backup plan. So I have already made a, a, a block diagram out of it. Oops. Okay, so uh, I use Ditta to uh, convert this uh, sky image to an image, actual image. So I'm just running the command um, in the micro mode. Ditta image. Cool. Let me see how it looks. Okay, so this is what you get. Uh, Trello. So uh, uh, in my workflow, uh, we use Trello a lot. And unfortunately, I'm not very good at handling the cards on the web. So I use Emacs to uh, create a card at least. And I can manage comments on the browser. But creating a card is difficult for me. So I use Trello. So what I use is Org Trello. Uh, it's an extension. And let me, so, so configuring Org Trello is uh, quite simple. You have to set up a key and a token. Uh, you can refer this documentation, which is very quick, and you can easily configure the token. And then you have to create a org file which uh, maps to your board. So let me give you a demo here. Mm -hmm. So this is what is a demo demo board I have created. And uh, as you see, these are the list. And let me create a card in to do groom list. Trello. Mm -hmm. So the card name should be what? Some bug. Mm -hmm should be to, to do groom. So as you see, uh, when I synced the board, it already synced the list names. Mm -hmm. Save it and use the command or Trello sync card. Mm -hmm. Let me see if, yeah, it's come up. So at least the title has came up. Uh, let's insert some description here. Trello. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's try to sync the card. Yeah. Cool. And finally, let's also include the checklist here. Checklist. And the sub topic should be, let's say, logic review then back end front end oh it should be outside 
and then okay let me just drop it here let me sync the card again and see if the checklist appears and as you see it begins to appear mm -hmm. refresh yeah mm -hmm. finally let's add the comment of Trello add card comment and this is where you comment this is comment thank you You see, this is a comment. Finally, let's archive the card. Or Trello, archive card. Card is archived. Cool. Presentation. So um, maybe all use presentation, and I do use org mode uh, for presentation. Um, so let me again give you a demo of this. Demo presentation. Empty file. Let's create a default sampler here. Mm -hmm. uh, to save a time, um, I'll insert the ready-made content. Content. Cool. Um, uh, okay. Let me render it. L mm -hmm. Org. make them so to make them sorry PDF. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me see how it looks like. Demo presentation dot PDF. Okay, so this is a documentation. I have to include some um, more headers, so this should help. Okay, so um, ah, no title is a problem here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, let me change this to today. This is all fine. Mm, render it again. Cool. Uh, let me add a theme. My favorite is Frankfurt. This is a problem here. Form Zarif. Oh. This is auto PDF. Cool. Okay, so this uh, same org file can be used to uh, create a reveal uh, JS presentation. Uh, we have to include include some headers. Let me include that reveal. Okay, and R R. Okay, let's go to the browser. Refresh and. Cool. So this is a reveal presentation of the same org file. Mm, let's do some change here. Uh, 
don't like the default transition which is too linear that should be fine cool so this is how I even this presentation I wrote it uh, I created using the org so uh, more about reveal you can uh, go to the github page or there is a uh, article on opensource.org how to create slides with emac org mode and reveal js you can follow it version control okay so i use magit for version control uh, a demo besides inside score Mm -hmm. As you see here, uh, these are my untracked files. If you okay, and my stash list. If I click on it, it will show me the stash in detail. Then uh, these are my recent comments. Mm. I can even, if I want, I can even stage the file using S, and it will go in the stage changes. I can s easily unstage it using U. Mm -hmm. And commit is also easy. You have to just type C, and you can write the commit message. I'm not going to commit here. It's a live project. OK. What else? OK, get time machine. So this is my favorite. Uh, and get time machine hmm. so uh, you see I can browse over the history of this file using just a keystroke so this is very initial version of the file you can see the commit message in the uh, in the mind mind mode and as I proceed the file goes on changing and so this is very helpful to track the changes um, a fancy tool. Okay. Agenda. So I always try to manage my task and uh, reports using agenda, you know, org mode agenda. And uh, this is the configuration I have in my Emacs file. So uh, each work can be. Uh, Tracked as an agenda file using uh, org agenda files, and there are a uh, pretty little capture template. So I'll let me show you a demo. Okay, so uh, so this task and to do list are uh, rendered using a capture template, and uh, the keywords T and N I is used to sh as a shortcut. So let me create a notes here. Go to the notes first. Mm -hmm. and and cool cloud forms notes mm -hmm. save it and if i go to the <coughs> action the notes you will see an entry of notes uh, another way uh, of tracking um, using agenda is the real work. So uh, go to the capture template again, I, and this will uh, give me a uh, section using a timestamp. Just enter the timestamp and go to the actual file, org, work, work. And you see, this is the re uh, latest timestamp it inserted. Uh, let me uh, add a subsection here. Okay, create a parser. And then reveal a playbook. Okay, now, now the advantage of this is I can time track this uh, task using I okay sorry 
Mm -hmm. So as you see, uh, the clock has started and uh, let me stop it and hack the time. So it's stopped at 11.28. Let me do it 14 or something and recompile the rail. So you see it took me uh, three hours to complete this task and uh, the beauty is you can see each task time. Uh, so as you see, this task took around three hours. And uh, this is very good um, if you want to give a report to your manager or something like that. So uh, let, uh, let me create a report for a month or this whole chart. Cool. So in my daily work with timestamp and the total time it took. So this is how I uh, manage my clock my work actually. Mm -hmm. So there is a nice write up by Nicholas. Uh, he's the release manager of Emacs and you can visit this URL and learn how to use OGMOOC to get things done. Okay. Uh, lastly, not lastly, but uh, I can even manage all the system tasks uh, particularly shell using Emacs. Um, I'm I know this is not very impressive, but still you can manage. So I can get a shell here um, okay, to do all kind of things. Uh, oh sorry. And then terminal is there. Man pages. So this is this is what I prefer. Uh, if I'm within Emacs, type man. This for one file and this is a man page I get. So I can refer it, I can browse it, I can search it within Emacs. File browser. So as you may have seen, so it's very good to browse files and folders too. Okay, I can even uh, mark a bunch of files uh, for deletion too using D and then if I press X uh, it will be deleted. Let me not do that. Okay, you can uh, mark the file too. Cool. Grab. Uh, I use this a lot, so I um, thought to include it in as a part of this presentation. So, what if you want to grab something? Thanks. Uh, yeah, so this is the directory and I want to grab something. So let's grab and dev dog caught. No, no. Okay, so these are uh, the files. Actually, there are only two files and the beauty is it highlights the actual expression. Where you with a nice GUI. Uh, blogging. So uh, I was using Jackly uh, for a while now. Then the GitHub story happened, and I thought it's a good, uh, good time to uh, switch to a fully fledged uh, org publish mode. So right now, so there is an org extension, org Jackly, to manage your blogs, but I prefer the old. Um, and very good org publish to do it. So if you want to do it, there is a tutorial on org publish on the org mode side. And for more reference, you can also visit my GitLab uh, page and see the configurations. Games, so I'm, I'm not sure if I have to include it, but let's see. Um, Uh, okay, Tetris. Oof. Okay, so there are plenty of games you can. Uh, okay. So uh, Emacs also support um, most of the major programming languages, and uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it, uh, including syntax highlighting, auto completion, and all that. Okay, I think I'm done. Any questions? No? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.